say you need to kiss a lot of frogs before you meet your prince. In my experience, I had to date a lot of receding hairlines before I found my hairy womp boy. So when I met Emma, something that Lisa and Nerissa didn't mention, Emma had a boyfriend at the time. And through a series of events, which included me breaking her boyfriend's back in a deadlift competition that I wasn't aware we were participating in, the boyfriend soon disappeared and Emma and I began dating. I remember Cly and James were pumping iron in my garage. Emma and I walked down to the garage and lifted the door to say hi. Cly vibrantly came out, wearing a singlet top, biceps on fire, but not that I was noticing. He said hello to Emma, and the two started talking straight away. Emma made him laugh, but something was different. Emma wasn't her usual self. And to those out there who know Emma know what I mean. Our usual boisterous and bold girl she usually was, wasn't really there. Instead, I saw a love struck girl. Our first introduction to the real Emma was in the couple group setting in Byron Bay in 2017. And by George, we met the real Emma. She was the loudest, funniest, most energetic person there, and by a long shot. It makes sense to why Kai was so smitten. Emma, you've been incredible for him. From the timid, socially estranged boy he once was, to now a confident, charismatic man with somehow an even sharper jawline. Emma isn't shameful about who she is or what she's about. But don't get me wrong, I'm not going to stand up here and make out Emma's perfect, but I began to see she was perfect for me. I quickly realised that I was falling in love with Emma. And after a holiday to Europe was planned with Emma and her family, I knew I had to capitalise on the opportunity. Smuggling in an engagement ring in my pocket through customs and into Europe, I dropped down on one knee and proposed to Emma under the Tuscan sun in beautiful Siena, Italy. After the initial shock and loss for words, I was grateful that Emma said yes. Every morning, I wake up to you putting a cup of coffee on my bedside table. I open my eyes and I see a Greek Kendall staring back at me. And as I sit up, looking like a Gene Simmons look-alike, I think, how the fuck did I pull this off? Hi Emma, what a whirlwind these past few years have been. Thank you, Emma, for filling my heart with love in ways that words could never explain. I cannot wait for my future with you, filled with many memories and everything that comes with love. I know there is no one else in the world I would rather do these things with you than as my wife by my side.